Hello children. In today's video, we are going to learn about the simple controls over the sprite in Scratch. In today's video, I am also going to tell you how you can start Scratch on your mobile phone. And also, if you don't have Scratch installed on your computer, how you can open the Scratch online and create games we will also learn x and y coordinates and how to move up down left and right in scratch now to open scratch on your mobile phone click on google chrome and open google here you are going to type scratch online editor in search you can click this link that is scratch dot mit dot edu which is the official website scratch online editor we will click on the first link now when you work on your mobile phone you will get a screen for your mobile if you want to switch from mobile screen to desktop interface simply click on this three dots when you click on this three dots one drop down list opens up from that you will choose desktop site when you click on desktop site it will give you a look as if you are working on computer or on laptop now let's select a create button to open a new project now when you click on create button we get the interface of scratch new project over here we have three section section 1 is coding area this is coding area where we get all our codes or commands that is motion looks sound event controls sensing operators and variable every group of code has a different controls the middle area is called workspace where you can drag all your controls to start your game you can drag it back to delete the commands the right area is called play area in play area you can actually see and check how your commands which you have put in workspace are working let's learn some more about the play area in play area we have option to choose a different sprite at the bottom 
over here you can click on a choose pride button from here you can select the sprite you want we have different types of sprite let's go back over here you can see the name of sprite you can change the name of the sprite by clicking over here and you can give name to the sprite you can change the size of sprite from the size option simply click on this box and put the desired size now let's learn about x and y coordinate which fixes the position of sprite for that let's choose backdrop if you have worked on the graph you must be knowing about x and y axis coordinates the vertical line represent y axis which is in the blue color while a horizontal line represents x axis which is in the orange color and the point where this both axes intersect each other is called origin you must be knowing that the value of the origin is always zero that means x zero y zero from the origin if i want to move to the upside of y axis value start increases also from the origin if i want to move at the bottom of y axis values are going to decrease at the top of the y axis that is from the origin to the y axis we have positive numbers that is up to 180 and to the down side of y axis we have negative numbers up to minus 180 again from the origin to the right side of x axis we have positive numbers and as i move further to the right side values keep on adding up to 240 and if i move from the origin to the left side of x axis we get minus numbers now let's learn control to move sprite up down and left right for that let's use event blocks from the event blocks we are going to use 
when key is pressed command now over here we will change space key to the left key by clicking this triangle let's choose left arrow key now as i told you if i am moving left side of x axis this gives me negative numbers so if i wanted to change the position to the left side of x axis or if i wanted to move backward i will use negative numbers for setting position or changing position we will use motion blocks from the motion blocks let's use change x by here we will make minus 10 so that we can move to the left side let's check yes it is working now let's duplicate this command and make a new command to move sprite to the right side now here let's make a changes for left arrow to right arrow key again here as i told you if we want to move to the right side we will use positive numbers so that we can tell sprite to move right So what I did is I change space key with the left arrow key by clicking on this small triangle and I change the position of x to the minus because I want to move to the left side Now for the right side I choose right arrow by clicking on this small triangle and I change x by positive 10 that indicates right side of x axis let's again duplicate this command to move sprite up here we will again change right arrow key with up arrow key now here we cannot use x axis because we can use x axis only for moving left and right which axis we can use yes we can use y axis to move up and down because it is vertical axis so let's remove change by x and use change by y again over here if i wanted to move at the top side of y axis we have positive numbers so let's change y by positive 10 and let's check okay it's working let's duplicate this command and make the sprite to move down now you can guess what i'm going to do over here i will use down arrow key and for moving down now you know that at the bottom side we get negative numbers so over here let's write minus 10 to move down let's check yes So now our sprite is moving right left up and down with the control of our keyboard's arrow keys so kids in this video we learn about how to open scratch on mobile phone and how to work on the desktop interface we also learn motion blocks that is moving up down left and right kids if you think 
this video was helpful to you to learn something then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload any new video about gaming or about coding you will get the notification thank you for watching my video